Welcome to another collector box opening for Kaldheim. Avram and Donovan here to entertain and wow you as I figure out how to open the box. <laughs> how are you doing today, Donovan? I'm doing pretty good. Just enjoying these uh, box openings. I'm glad that we're able to start putting out more content for everyone's viewing pleasure. Oh yeah, definitely. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, share this to your page and tell them you know us. Yeah. <laughs> really, what it is is we're happy to know you. And we just hope you enjoy, and don't forget to come on down for uh, in-store tournament play again. Uh, masks are now optional, but temperature checks for those people sticking around to play. Keep things safe till uh, we figure out more what needs to happen. But anyways, we got some some uh, shinies and some other stuff. Um, Runeforge champion card's interesting. Yeah, I have. Uh, I love e ETB effects, yeah. you know, searching, you know, value. Essentially, it's almost like, you know, draw a card, but you get to, uh, Tutoring effects you know, are always good. yeah, you basically get to more, get more of what you want, not just top deck. Top deck doesn't always help you. Wow. The Some Fortel, the, yeah. the Wrath of God, it's just, it's just a neat looking card, um. Ooh, another Starheim Unleash. I love how that card looks. It's so beautiful. Magda, isn't that a good one, right? Uh, yeah, yeah I think Magda's seeing a little bit of play with, uh, because there's all that dragon support coming out in, uh, AFR. But people yes. are actually playing Magda now, or people are starting to pick up Magda. Oh, yeah, I'm speaking of AFR, now. we got our pre-release coming up this weekend. We have our box sales. We have an upside-down card. That's weird. Forging the tire. It's just upside down. Just huh. All right. <laughs> yeah. So we have uh, pre-release. We have six flights. Check out our Facebook page. We'll get you all the details. Yeah. We have uh, in-store play going. Don't forget your pre-orders on the new Adventures into Forgotten Realms. Light step pathway. Literally, D and D meets magic. For all those people who thought that it would be a perfect fit, now you get a chance to try it out. Uh, I think it looks like a lot of fun. I've done some yeah. uh, draft and some sealed online already on Arena. Uh, and it's a very fun limited format for sure. It is. It is definitely very uh, combo centric. There's a lot of archetypes that you want to, you need certain cards if you want to do well with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a little difficult to always draft what you I, want. But... I really like the dice rolling. <laughs> I'm not. It's I'm really into the dice roll. It's it's kind of neat as long as people don't fight over it and how to deal yeah. with that. And... Ooh, another extended order of the Let's Park Channel. That's wow. Like, yeah. Dual lands by any other name, still a dual land. Skim for Avenger. I think that card's pretty cool. I think it's good in I think it's good in, in, in black and elves. I think that card's good, but people debate me on it, so <laughs> I might just be wrong. Who knows? Let's see here. Oh, got another. Got another god. I like that there's so many gods in this set. I I I love that they keep doing god. Ooh, and Valky, a borderless card's very good. It looks like somebody's Facebook profile picture I just saw. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it does look like a poo. Is that foil wow. dark war? Yep. Yeah. That's a shiny dual good lands. Game. 14 bucks. Yeah. Everybody had been talking about the reserved list over the years and how dual lands will never be reprinted because they're on the reserved list. And, I, and everybody was like, well, they'll just print something that's similar, but not exactly the same. And I think the pathways are probably a pretty darn close uh, approximation. Imagine if they made fetchable modal flip lands. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Ooh, another Mr. Reflection. Ah, that card's really good. Yeah, people, people buy that card. Right? We can't keep that card in stock. What are they doing with it? I don't even know. That's the thing. I have no idea what the people are playing. Well, let's look we at the ability. It. So it's a two mana instant. 
Choose target non-legendary creature. The next time one or more creatures or planeswalkers enter the battlefield this turn, they enter as copies of the chosen creature and foretell. So it's instant speed. You could float it with foretell, and any single time anybody plays their bombiest creature that's non-legendary, you have one too. Maybe people are doing like some type of creator host shenanigans with it. So basically... You can actually... So the creature already has to be in play that you're targeting. Mm -hmm. And so you can basically... Basically whiff their creature. Say they're playing Voren Clicks and you have it come out as a wall. Yeah. You know, you can whiff their creature or you can make yours better. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So that's that's pretty interesting. So obviously there's a little bit more. I'm sure there's some setups and more setup there, but yeah, that that actually it's a offense and defense together. Ooh, righteous Valkyrie's good card. Yeah. Another pathway. I uh, never mind opening duels. Yeah. I Which mean, one was that one? That's the uh, blue white. The blue. Oh, That's the, the tundra. Henge, the henge gate. Yeah. That's the tundra. <laughs> the tundra. Another foil. Uh, extended art. Elvish Warmaster. And do we even know what the new rotation cycle is going to be for standard uh, or when? It's, um, it's in. It's when the the next set comes out. The uh, was it moons over in the shroud or something like that. What? So it's going to be a little bit, yeah, and then like what's going to rotate out? Uh, Throne of Veldrain rotates out. Oh, there's Nico, the first non-binary planeswalker, which is really good for representation. Yeah. Let's see here. That's the borderless. Ooh, and uh, that haunting voyage. Voyage. Yep. Oil. Yeah. I, with the rotation, I know that we lose Throne of Veldrain. I think we lose Theros Beyond Death, and I think uh, Core 21 is what we're taking mm. also. That's going to be a bit. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Ooh. Oh, another Vorinclex. Foil. Is that seeing any play at all? Oh, yeah, it's seeing play. It, it seems all playing like uh, an EDH. Foil Wrath of God. Yeah, this box is pretty decent overall so far. Collector boxes, you know, it's not on sale at, right now for uh, call time, specifically at one ninety nine ninety nine while supplies last. And uh, we're not sure how long the sale is going to go because we uh, think anybody who wants to play standard, get some fluff up your trade binder, yeah. you know, get That's some cool. value, good value for your money. Um, not a bad thing at all. Two more to go. Any other uh, quick announcements we want to make? Um, so we do want to let people know that uh, you know we're doing modern on Tuesdays at six thirty. We've got draft going on on Wednesdays and Fridays at six thirty. Sundays. Sundays at uh, eleven thirty. Standard at three on uh, Sundays. Then we've got EDH open play on uh, Tuesdays and Saturday, and they've been getting a great turnout. I mean, honestly, every day we've, we've had, been having, we've had EDH yeah, players in every day. People are just happy to be able to play in stores again. Yeah, it just shows how important LGS is are to the Magic community. Yeah, and we've uh, improved our seating area quite yeah. a bit. New tables and chair, you know, flushed out all the chairs and back of the store. It's a little bit cooler. Um, AC is running well. But it being in back of the store, just going to take a little bit longer to get warm from the sun on the front. And just really, uh, really great to see everybody coming back in again. We really appreciate that. And that is the last pack. So how, how did this box look overall? Well, overall, it looked pretty decent. Uh, there's a lot of value in the commons and like the snow uh, duels, the snow basics and stuff like that. So that all adds up very fast. And overall, we had a lot of very good playable hits. Uh, I mean, like, Valky's fantastic, all the pathways are good, Vorinclex is super sweet, uh, Elish Warmaster, 
just the really sweet different arts and stuff like that for the different showcase. So, yep. I mean, overall, it was a pretty solid box. And and when the rotation does happen, a lot of call time will, stays. Yeah, call time stays. So a lot of those cards are going to fluctuate up in price. Uh, right now, I, I think the problem that a lot of people are having with Standard is uh, Throne of Eldraine is broken. <laughs> yes, yeah. it, it, needs, it needs to rotate. Yeah. But honestly, people also are just starting to play again. And you're not always going to see the same thing online that you see in real life. And that changes what it's decks are powerful. Because if you always see the same thing, you have to have the thing that beats that thing. Yeah. Or beats the deck that beats the deck. Whereas in real life, you actually have people who make uh, one deck and stick with it for a while and don't have every single card to change out. So you see completely different metas. You see, you know, some of the same things. But you, you'll end up with different opportunities. You can play, have more fun, see these people you haven't seen in a while, and sit across from them again and, and sling some magic. Yeah. And we look forward to seeing everyone back in the shop. It's been really great seeing... A lot of our regulars coming back in, people we haven't seen since before the lockdown, and it's been a really fun, a little emotional time for me. Because yes, uh, me <laughs> too. This is this is you know over half my yeah. life to support the this wonderful community and and you know everything else that we we do at the store. But thank you so much for joining us, and stay tuned for more content.